All right. We're back. We're back. We start every video with, we're back. We don't know what else to say. We're back. Please love us. All right, I think we have the right video synced up this time. Yes, this time is the best time. We're correct on this next time. This next time, Matt is going to do an election. Just like the last next time. Except last time, next time, we don't know what the hell I was doing. We know we died. <laughs> no idea. But that's about it. <laughs> oh, actually, the last time, I don't think you did an election because that was... <laughs> I died. That was the wrong video. The bald man had killed me. Yeah, but I don't think you were doing an election. You were, like, on your way up or something. That seems right. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. That was the one where I couldn't get those stupid guns because I was like, I'll go through here, but I'll lose one. I'll go through here. Like... <laughs> the thing is, people are going to watch that, <laughs> and we're not going to be commenting yeah. on it at all. Yeah, so there's a wolf and three <laughs> sheep, and you have to get the sheep across, and the wolf will eat the sheep if they're alone. There's like a wolf, a goat, and a potted plant. <laughs> yeah. You can't leave the goat and the potted plant together, and you can't leave the wolf with anything. Exactly. So how do you do that? <laughs> it's like, take everyone over and leave the wolf. Because <laughs> who wants a wolf with them? Those are always funny to hear people like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Dang, okay. I have to oh, take this wolf. What if you drown the wolf? You can't drown the wolf. <laughs> Why not? I promised my aunt I'd take care of this wolf. <laughs> it was her dying wish. <laughs> take my wolf but why to would you, England. <laughs> why would you have a wolf? Is the wolf behaved? Not germane. I used it again. <laughs> to the problem. Just ditch the potted plant. <laughs> yeah. You don't need that potted plant. Get a new one in the new world. <laughs> I love those things. And then you can tell students like... Here is a writing rubric. Or, like, write a paper on your dreams. How long does it have to be? It doesn't matter. Just write it. <laughs> One sentence. Or or they'll be like, wait, what do you mean? Like, how, what are the <laughs> paper, like, paragraph? Like, what do I do? I don't know. Give me rules. <laughs> yeah, I need constraints. <laughs> yeah. I was like, the kids are always like, what? What does this have to do with real life? I'm like, what are you talking about? This is a real life situation. Someday you will be on the banks of a river with a wolf and a goat, <laughs> and you're like, I know what to do! <laughs> Everyone listen to me! I just don't understand why people argue with homework so much. Because it'll be like... Uh, it's because they don't want to do it. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's like, what does this have to do with real life? What am I ever going to use this real right life? Right now! It, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah. You have to do it to pass the class. This is real life. It doesn't matter. This just, is, just do it. <laughs> this is happening to you right now. Yeah. You are in real life. Maybe the application is not directly, like, one-to-one, -one, but right. you will use these skills. And we can't be like, shit, we gotta think of a real-life problem to use all God, of these skills. Such... And it's only it's always with math classes. Yeah, it is a lot with math Kids classes. Kids are like, uh, Miss English teacher, when are they gonna use gerunds in real life? They're just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna use them. <laughs> when do I have to know Poe in real life? You don't. <laughs> Well, you never say that. You just, oh, we're going to read a poem today. It's trying to make you a more well-rounded individual yeah, who's not a complete dip. Jag off. <laughs> I'm not a teacher, but I can imagine it's very Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> so, I'm an election. I am an election. You are. Yeah, so I, I was watching Matt play this and telling him where to go. Yeah, pretty much, and I was doing a was decent doing okay. job. I was his compass bug. Yep, except it talked and was way better. <laughs> I was like, turn left, turn right. No, your other left. I didn't say swa, 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 swa. So if you don't know, and I don't know if we talked about this. I'm well, glad we're bringing this out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I, it, I said it didn't talk to me. Oh, yeah. you're right. Way to work that in. Yeah. Matt went to Denver. <laughs> I also went to Denver. <laughs> so, uh... I didn't just go to Denver, I lived in Denver, okay? <laughs> I worked in Denver, and, uh, but that is not the point. But the point is, if you use old Microsoft SAM, like Windows XP era, and you type in soy a whole bunch, it, you can't for say some it. reason, will go, swa, 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 <laughs> It'll, like, speed up. Can't as pronounce it. Swa, 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 swa. Phonics doesn't work. No, it doesn't. It, it's swa. not hooked on it. <laughs> Ah, uh, you did it. Your beebs are waiting. Yeah, I didn't get the key to Glorix. In the promised land. I think... You had 1919 beebs. 1919. The year of our lord. Cartoon, cartoon. <laughs> oh, man. An old Cartoon Network. Cartoon, cartoon. Cartoon, cartoon. 
That's where Cow and Chicken came from, Dexter's Lamb. Oh, yeah. Didn't watch any Powerpuff Girls. I just know Cartoon Cartoon. Those were what they came from. I didn't have cable. <laughs> we have established this. That's, no, why, no. that's why we're playing bangers to begin with. Why we're playing bangers. I did watch one Saturday morning in the Saturday mornings. Were you, did you like Recess? Yeah, Recess and like uh, what Reboot and Beast Wars. Oh man, Reboot was awesome. And yeah, Beast... Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna re- they're gonna reboot Reboot. I know, I heard that. It's gonna be super cool, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's not like Girl Meets World because that show is the dumb. I have not seen Girl Meets World. It's super Disney Channel. But I'm about to, I'm about to make a splash here. I didn't really watch a whole lot of Boy Meets World. I didn't either because I didn't have cable. Was it on cable? No. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I watched it when it came on. It was good. Did you watch Saved by the Bell at all? Nope. Ah. Uh, because Jimmy Fallon? Because I didn't have cable. I don't think that I one. I think that one was on cable. Wasn't that Nickelodeon? TBS, maybe. I, uh, it, well, I, at I least the, the, it. it was syndicated on TBS. Yeah. I don't know if it was actually, but uh, actually, like, originally on that. But uh, Jimmy Fallon had the entire, oh, yeah. like the major cast of Saved by the Bell, recreated, and it was really well done. Yeah, my wife watched it. It was cool. Did she watch Saved by the she Bell? She did. She's oh. a super fan. Yeah, man. It was awesome. And they mostly look the same, except for the principal got like ultra yeah, blown up said. fat. She said uh, the one who looked the best was Slater. Oh yeah, that's Mario, Mario Lopez. Lopez is super. And he he looks like aged. he doesn't look like he's aged no, at he all. No, he doesn't age. He's he just, like jerry curled his hair, yeah. and that was it. Like, he, just he looked stays young. really, really in shape Didn't and he do that, like, your mom show? Like, the mom joke show? Or was that Fez? Fez? I think it was Mario Lopez. I don't think so. There I thought Mario sh- Lopez did, like, Dancing with the Stars and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I think, I mean, but there was a show on MTV, maybe, where it was all your mama jokes. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, there were two squads. Did you notice that the only be- person who didn't really show up to that was Dustin Diamond? Oh, because his life is Screech, a, because everyone hates him? Because his life is a joke? Yeah. He, like, yes. he's... He did a show where he boxed someone. <laughs> like, it was like a paid fight. Isn't he the toothpickiest man, though? Toothpickiest man? The tiny, oh, tiny, tiny shrimpy. man. Yeah, yeah, he's real shrimpy. All right, so Matt just failed the tabby task. He yeah, couldn't did squish it. enough beebs in enough time. He only had to squish nailed 10 feet it. Do it. He's gonna try it again. Gonna try it again, but I nailed it, so I don't even know why I'm trying it again. Yeah, you snailed it. I snailed it. <laughs> you snailed it. <laughs> That's the opposite of nailed it. It is. Do you ever do the game where you have to pick the opposite of things that don't have opposites? No, but that sounds super fun. It is. Like, what's the opposite of a scarecrow? Uh, dirt. No, it's a snowman. I don't think so. Snowman is the opposite of a scarecrow. I think it's dirt. What dirt? What snowman? A scarecrow is a man made of fall materials. Yeah. And a snowman is a man made of winter materials. They're opposites. Well, the scarecrow is on top of the dirt, so one is higher and one is lower. uh, That's... You're bad at this game. (laughs) All right, what's the opposite of Halloween? Uh, the opposite of mm. Halloween is Easter. It is definitely Christmas. Why is it Christmas? I don't know, but it's not Easter. Easter is supposed to be like this holy, like... So is Christmas! With, like, bright pastel colors, and Halloween is like dark colors, evil... You're making a decent argument, but it's definitely Christmas. <laughs> but you haven't made any argument for The Christmas. opposite of Easter is like Veterans Day or something. <laughs> Veterans Day? It's like a secondary holiday. Explain yourself. Uh, I was just thinking of it. Or St. Patrick's Day, I think, would be the opposite of Easter. Okay. It's a secondary holiday. <laughs> secondary holiday? Yeah, you've got bunnies bouncing around, you've got leprechauns bouncing around. They're, they're opposites. <laughs> they're like the same. What's the opposite of oatmeal? The opposite of oatmeal is cereal. Yeah, you got that one. Yeah, that was easy. That's definitely cereal. Yeah, because one's all mush and one's all hard yeah. and cold. Well, hot and cold. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mush and hard. You can get mushy, hot cereal. <laughs> Actually, it's called hot cereal. <laughs> Oatmeal, yeah. Yeah. Um, what is the opposite of Valentine's Day? The opposite... Ooh, that one might be Easter, actually. The opposite of Valentine's Day is... Valentine's Day. Valentine's <laughs> Day. So the made-up one. The made-up one. Uh, ooh, Valentine's... Uh, maybe Halloween. Halloween is the opposite of Valentine's That's Day? That's what... Yeah, but Christmas is the opposite of Halloween. <laughs> So Christmas uh, equals Valentine's Day. What's the opposite of sweatpants? The opposite of sweatpants? Yeah. Are, I don't know, jeans? Yeah, I'd say that. That's pretty good. Jeans, because they're hard. 
<laughs> Sweatpants are soft and jeans are hard. Jeans are super hard. <laughs> jeans are hard, man. Walking like a stilt man. What's the opposite of a bicycle? Uh, opposite of a bicycle? Yeah. Uh, I want to say walking. <laughs> I would I would say a car. Okay. Or a motorcycle. Depends. I almost said motorcycle. Depends on your argument. Almost said motorcycle. Uh, Mary and I played this game all the time. I'm sure our viewers are like, you guys are idiots! The <laughs> stop <laughs> talking about this! Well, either they'll stop talking or they don't agree with our it's opposites. A good one. Like, we used to talk about black, our black holes and bottomless pits all the time. Oh, no, not black holes. Quicksand. Quicksand and bottomless pits. What's better or what's worse? Just, we just talked about them all the time. Like, if, it, if you fell in a bottomless pit and it was raining... You could survive for a long time because there'd be like all this water around you. But then, like as you drank the water that was falling around you, you would have this like circle of no water. Yeah. And you had to slow yourself down. But is there you the can't same slow yourself down? Air right? resistance, like in a bottomless pit. Well, it doesn't exist. You know what doesn't? A bottomless pit. And we're saying it does. So you have to invent your own rules for that. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Air all right. Anyway. Before we get into these topics, let's talk about what you're doing. Oh, in the video? Yes. Um, well, I just did that heavy task. I think I'm going to go down to Ogorod. Okay, so it says PPS at the bottom. Yes. So Points it's per second. Currently, we're in the pipette. See that thing flying around? Yes. It's dropping these little orange doodads. Yes. This <laughs> is this is the pipette Pip show. <laughs> yeah. I know. Those things that are dropping are called pipettkas. And this is the ritual race for Ogorod on Glorks. And it's the Pip Show. And you have to collect the most of them and take them back to um, Oburez. <laughs> and if you collect the most, you win. And if you win both ritual races, the Pepeka Pip Show and the <laughs> Kernubu, or Heroism, uh, the, the Kernubu... Uh, oh man, Tim, your stutter's Whatever back. war. I forget what it's called, the Kernubu something war. Atomic war or something like that. Nuclear war. Nuclear, nuclear, nuclear war. war. Uh, if you win both, then you get the key to Necross. It's pronounced nuke. The best Lisa. way to the best way to win these is to find the thing that's flying around and just follow it as it drops them, or just go wait down by the entrance to the S cave and wait for people who are doing the race to come down there and just blow them up and take theirs. Yeah, I guess if you have a big enough beef mobile. Yeah, so I collected a few. There's one there. I'm gonna pick hey, up. Hey, look who's playing hey, Alpha hey, Protocol. It's Duck. It's playing Alpha Protocol. <laughs> I want to play that game. I heard it's a deeply flawed, good game. I've never played of it. Um, yeah. There's so many right here. Like, I can't resist. They're all over the place. So I'm going to pick these up, and then I'm going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuck. <laughs> I'm doing such good driving. And then I think I'm going to go wait down by the entrance and just wreck people's stuff. You're going to wreck their shit? But I'm doing pretty good. There are 19 left, and I have 9. Now, that doesn't tell me how many have already been picked up by other people. Sure. But, you know, once you get about 15 to 20, you can probably, it's a pretty safe bet that you're winning. Yeah, if you do more than half. Well, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily always start with the same amount. Uh, so I don't know how many it started with, how many people have picked up in the meantime. Because it just tells you how many are free left on the world, how many you have. Gotcha. Um, and you can see the other people on the map that are red and glowy. They're also, they also have them. They've so got him in their base. Guys? Well, he doesn't have any. He's just orange. I just... I'm killing him for... Is he Valorange? Any reason. I don't know why I'm killing him. For fun, I guess. For fun, guys. Yeah. But I have 13, which is pretty good. So I think I'm going to head down soon. Oh, there's one right next to me. See, I can't I can't resist. You got to go pick another one up. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Pringle. Yeah. Once you pop. Now, there are some artifacts you can get that are fake pipettes, and you can dig around in Ogrod and pick one up and then wait and go back in. And I think if you have one of them, it's like, it's like an automatic win or something. But if your luck's not high enough, he'll catch you. He'll be like, that's a fake. And you get some serious doo-doo. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I don't do that because I'm not a cheater. I don't eat pumpkins. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. What's the opposite of a pumpkin? The opposite of a pumpkin is, um, ooh, that's a good one. Maybe a watermelon or an apple. Because it's small. Yeah, small. Small and hard. Small and hard. I think it's, hmm, I would probably say apple, too. 
But maybe a or one, maybe though. the Apple II E. Wow! <laughs> Computer joke. Wow! <laughs> the opposite of a pumpkin. The opposite of a pet petka is a carnubu. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to say carnubu. <laughs> That's just a little vanger's joke. It's a little vanger's humor. Hashtag vanger's joke. So there's a lot of people I'm shooting at. Yeah. And the thing is, I want to I want to kill the guys who are who are glowing red because I want their stuff. But there's so many people for me to shoot, <laughs> I, I can't keep track of it all. So like some type of. <clears throat> so that guy just dropped all his, and I'm gonna pick his up. And now I have 20. And so I, I think I'm gonna go in soon. But I don't know if I win this first one. I think I might not. Really? You have like 20. I know. I maybe I. One of the races I don't win when I think I'm going to. He's just like, oh, thanks for bringing those in. <laughs> like, ah, oh, come on! I thought thanks for sure. Those in. I think maybe I win this one. Derple derp. Yeah, fall in. Did you fall into the gap? Fell into the mind. The gap. Salute. What a brave guy. I came in first. You did. I won. What'd you get for it? Well, so he said he sent the... Sent a message to Vig Boo. Prepare my Rubix for activation or whatever. So it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. <laughs> maybe I'll get the key. But I think maybe I don't. I think I have to do the Kernu... Kernubu nuclear war. Luck plus four. Luck 61. You're getting there. When your luck is 50, you can see the larva. No, that's dominance 50. When your luck is 50, you can open the special hideouts. I believe I have negative dominance. <laughs> you might. You're not very dominant. No, I'm... You also get dominance by picking up new stuff that you've never picked up before. And by buying new cars. So you just gotta... Gotta Go play the game. Yeah, Gorb yeah. power. Powered up. So that big mechos part in my bay that looks like a big blade, it's for the queen frog, which is a piece of crap. <laughs> like, its only purpose is that it can float on water. It doesn't have good armor. It doesn't have good energy shield. It doesn't handle well. And there's... The water in all these worlds is so full of vines and crap, you can't really float around and just travel by water anyway. Yeah, it's, this world sucks. It's really dumb. And you, there are rivers on the other worlds. Okay, so now it's nuclear war, and the things you can pick up are much brighter. Mm-hmm. Because, um... Start a war! Oburez... Start a nuclear war! ...is like some kind of outcast. And the other guy, what's his name... And Sam. Also, I think it's Sam. I forget his name. He, um, you know, his stuff is always, like, heroic and bright and whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I forget his name. What's his name? It's up there in Lampasso. Oh, I, uh, no, I definitely don't know. You've heard it before. Oh, I've heard a lot. <laughs> You've heard a lot of words. Yeah. They're not real words. I mean, they're words. They're just not, uh, Those things are all over part the of the English language officially. Right. They're part of the... Translated from Russian. Yeah. I don't think they're real words in Russian. That guy shot at me, so I'm gonna wreck his stuff. Just messed him up. Mess it up, man. Do the classic mess around. <laughs> Mix it up. The problem is, I think I uh, spend way too much time shooting people and finding these little doodads. So I think the cycle changes before I get a chance. You don't even need dominance. You got a hundred of it. I know. Hunter it's dominance. just so fun killing people in this game. <laughs> and it's like, how could I not? It takes, like, four hits, you know? Four hits to your health. To your health! I'm doing very good driving. I think I'm going to order a pizza. Pizza? I don't know. I really want a pizza, but I... You should go to Arnie's and just get a grease oh! circle. Just have a circle of grease. Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> Meet you at Arnie's. Never. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. I, we had it today, and I was it was a regretful incident. Man. Axl Rose, if you're watching. What were you thinking? I don't know how you like Arnie's. Welcome to the Jungle is yeah. about Arnie's. <laughs> it's about Arnie's. Welcome to the grease pit. So I'm using the... I have a copter rig, and I'm flying. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty cool. I, I, just, I don't know why I haven't been using it, because it's great for getting unstuck from stuff. Does it ever run out? Yeah, you have to recharge your your rigs every once in a while. But I mean, does it go away? Do you lose the item? No, it just, um, gets all, the color fades. Okay. And it's out of energy. 
See, I'm wasting so much time trying to pick this stuff up. <laughs> these two things. But you finally went small. I went small, and I still can't pick them up. You went so, small, Paul. It's dumb. I think I give up and just... No, see. The nucleo booms have rotted away. See, they're not called Kernubus. They're called nucleo booms. I'm such an idiot. Ah! Uh, What's a Kernubu? What is that? What? It's a word. It's a word in this game, Kernubu. And what? It, oh, it might be the fake nucleo boom. Ah! Uh, now you're all messing everyone up. There's something called a Ghibli too. But yeah, Studio Ghibli. They made uh, <laughs> my favorite Dotoro. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> Sunday nights. My brain. Man, do you think that we're going to have work tomorrow? Because I always have work tomorrow. I'm going to have work tomorrow. Yeah, me too. At Company and Company. Company and Company Inc. Where I am not a teacher. <laughs> not a teacher. Yeah, plus four dominance for killing that tiny guy. I just wish that you would stop taking all of our money as what? a teacher. You take all of our money oh, I'm not and a never I'm work. Not, I'm not a teacher. Never. What are you talking about? Yeah, um, teachers are very overpaid. Yeah, they are overpaid. And overappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Oh, see, I don't... I'm not an agent. He didn't give me the key to the cross. I have to win the nuclear war. Start a war. I can only think of the Start electric nuclear war. I can only think of the electric six song. Is that gay bar? It's gay bar. Yeah, gay bar, gay bar, gay bar. I will bleep all of those gays. <laughs> the bleep bar. Yeah. Especially <coughs> for a Russian game because they can't they can't talk about gay. Uh, all right, it's well, finished. Yep. Yeah, next time I think I do that nuclear boom thing. Sweet. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for the for next time. Couple weeks. <laughs>